Last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. We both sat down and I pulled over the basket. So this is why you were worried about raccoons, she teased. I nodded, smiling. Can't blame me, right? As she took a sip. She twirled it around her mouth for a few moments, and then swallowed, while smiling afterwards. It's really good. Dear Fry, why is my name- why is- why is the name Fry there? Whatever. Our time together was short, but it was the best time of my life. I just want to let you know that I'm moving on, for real this time. I'm sorry to have to keep uh, drudging, drudging it up and preventing you from enjoying your time with Yuri, but I feel it needs to be said. I wish you the best, Monica. <laughs> is Yuri's birthday. Ho 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 ho, okay. I woke up panicked. Crap, crap. What time is it? Why didn't my alarm go off? Um, it's birthday time? These thoughts ran through my head as I grabbed my cell phone off the nightstand. Ah, glop dang son of a bitch. Clenching my fists and restraining myself from throwing my phone at the nearest solid object, I checked out. I checked the outlet. Of course, unplugged. I grabbed the cord and got out of bed, walking towards my desk. Plugged the phone in an outlet nearby and sat in my desk chair. Opening up my laptop, I sighed. I need an actual alarm clock. I can't rely on that piece of junk anymore. When my laptop booted up, I checked the time. 14.25? I set my alarm for 8 o'clock. I pressed the power button on my phone. Dead, but charging. I pressed it again. Dead, but charging. I press... Oh, I'm getting nowhere. I'm just going to have to wait. If Yuri doesn't break up with me for forgetting her birthday until then... Ugh. Shook my head. She... Wouldn't. Of course she wouldn't. Heck, knowing Yuri, she expects people to forget her birthday. But even then, I don't want her to expect that. I have a gift for her, along with a whole date planned. An important date. I pressed the power button. Uh, finally, I scrolled through my notifications. Average stuff, but no texts from Yuri. He probably didn't want to bother me. I chuckled. Even when it's her a glob dang birthday. I ran a hair th I, I ran a hand through my hair and clicked on the phone application. I clicked on Yuri's contact and it rang. Hello? Hey Yuri. Sorry for sorry I'm calling you so late, my alarm didn't go off and uh, didn't exactly sleep very well last night. We knew that setting up a huge day out between you and your girlfriend could be so stressful. But I just wanted to say happy birthday. Wait, what do you mean happy birthday? Did I? Hold on, it is my birthday, isn't it? She giggled. Oh, she was being coy. Thank you, Finn. I'm very happy that you remembered. I don't think I would forgive myself if I didn't. We both laughed. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for a good time. I have some stuff planned, so see if you can get here by 17. If you can, at least. Uh, you can, right? Oh, of course. We didn't really have anything planned today. Good, because I do. She said, not a hint of sarcasm in her voice. Anyway, I'll see you when you get here. I have some stuff I need to work on before then. Love you, babe. Love you too, hon. See ya. Farewell. I hung up the phone. Let's rock and roll. I stood up from my desk and reached under my bed. I felt around for a small box. When I found it, I brought it out. It was a matte small it was a matte black rectangle shaped container. 
I open it up, check the contents, and close it again. Ooh, I wonder what would that be? Maybe something special, of course. Sweet! Now, where's the wrapping paper? Dang, this show is really boring. Why do we still need- why do we still pay for cable? I sighed. Hurry up, Yuri. I want to go to the place already. Yuri. I sat still, turned to face the front door, and waited impatiently for Yuri's show up at the perfect time, Deus Ex Machina. Uh, dang it. I turned my attention back to the television set. Still boring. And my phone is still charging, so I can't go use it. Why did I give myself such a... Knock knock. <laughs> what, give yourself a crappy phone? Yeah, you definitely need an upgrade for that, because I, I do have a new phone. I shut off the TV and quickly stood up. Finally, finally, finally! I opened up the door and there she was. As beautiful as ever. Of course, of course. She giggled and thanked me. But you're not so shabby yourself, you know. I blushed and smiled. Uh, happy birthday, Yuri. I gave her a kiss and kept the smile. Would you like your present? You didn't have to get me anything. Nonsense. I hope she doesn't do that every time. I will continue to buy her gifts and she has no in saying that. I love you, so I got you something special. And I have a day out planned too. So get used to being spoiled today. Well, alright then. Let's see it. See what? Uh... Oh, right! She giggled. I grabbed the present off the kitchen counter and walked back to Yuri. Here. It was wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper. Don't judge me. I didn't have birthday paper. I mean, if, if it works, it works, I guess. But uh, it's in, at the end of the day, it's just wrapping paper. Doesn't matter. Excited anyway, Yuri tore into the wrapping paper. He looked in. She looked at the black container with curiosity. Upon opening up the box, she smiled. You remembered I like knives. Oh, knives. What a thought. I sure did, but... Hmm? Read the writing on it. Writing? What writing? She picked up the knife, the knife and searched around. It's on the blade, I whispered. Oh. She flipped the blade open, and upon reading the inscription, she smiled. Finn. She closed the blade, gave me a peck on the lips, and hugged me. Tightly. Thank you, Finn. So, you like it? I adore it. She kissed me on the ear and then pulled back. This gift really means a lot to me. Well, I'm glad. And hopefully the other thing I have planned will mean just as much. Oh? I nodded. You like it, I promise. Though, would you like to go now or later? I'd rather... I'd rather we go now if that's okay. It's already 16 o'clock, so I wish to get going before it gets dark. Sounds good. Now, it is a little bit of a bus ride, but I promise it's going to be worth it. Plus, I'll actually be on the lookout this time, so... She sighed. Very well. I'm sorry, but I promise, cross my heart, you'll like it. I never said I was still excited. I internally sighed in relief. Great. I waved Yuri out the door and felt my pockets. Wallet, keys. Alright. Sorry, I'll be right back. Hopefully there aren't any creeps in the bus or rather, or else I'll uh, pull out the shotgun like I did last time. <laughs> or sword, because I'm a knight. Knights don't need weapons in that case anyway, but still. I walked upstairs and into my bedroom where I grabbed my phone off my desk. When I say I don't need weapons as in the gun type. Knights don't carry those. I only carry a sword and a bow. Whatever, I'm breaking the law. 60%. Not bad. I left my bedroom. Ready to rock and roll? Yuri nodded and we walked outside together. 
I locked the door behind us and we began our journey to the nearest bus stop, which was like 5 minutes away. So it wasn't much of a journey, but the actual bus ride would be. 45 minutes. I internally strapped myself in. After 8 years, I finally saw our destination in the distance. I smiled. Hey Yuri. I nodded my head towards the window. Upon noticing what I was doing, she took a curious glance out of it. <gasps> Finn, is that... Sure is. You... She sniffled and she tur and her eyes turned glossy. You remembered. I've sure been doing that a lot recently. It's almost like I love you and care about the things you say. She laughed. Uh, I smiled wide. I loved her laugh. She leaned her head into my shoulder and kissed it. I love you. She whispered and giggled like a little girl. I love you too. I, I And I hope you're excited. Of course I am. I haven't been there in so long. Oh, what is it? Is it a bookstore or somewhere else? Uh, our destination? The carnival. Oh? Uh, the carnival? Let's go! Though we weren't there yet just yet. First, we had to... Well get in, which was as easy as walking up to the booth and paying, which I did. The kid at the ticket booth handed me a piece of paper and I looked it over. This slip of paper grants access to any and all rides and attractions, not included game booths, also included one free drink and meal at any food booth. Thank you for visiting. I had paid extra for a free meal. And this slip of paper was straightforward, yes, but isn't there usually a wristband or something? I asked. The response I received made sense. The guy that was supposed to print the to, was supposed to order the wristbands didn't, so we had to rush and print these slips of paper. Oh, I get it. It's mo this kind of like a wristband shortage or anything like that. I understand ya. We weren't the only ones with the pieces of paper I was able to observe. Though the man told us not to lose them because he couldn't spare any extras. Which is unfortunate, but it just meant that we had to be careful. I folded my paper and put it in my pocket. Yuri puts hers in her purse. And we finally walked past the gate and into the carnival. Hey, yo! Let's go! Surely this isn't like a Japanese version of Five Flags, ain't it? Well, <laughs> according to where I'm from, uh, we do have a fair we do we do have an amusement parks here in the Philippines and all, but still, um, I don't know. If this might be a uh, like a Five Flags or Star City or anything like that. I'm just saying. Uh, the sounds of screaming children filled my ears and the scent of fried dough is intoxicating. I grabbed Yuri's hand and began looking around. The rides, the vibe. Man, I haven't been here in ages. Neither have I. A man bumps into me and I nearly knocked off my feet. I'm able to stabilize myself, but I suddenly notice how crowded it's becoming. Yuri is practically cutting off the blood flow to my hand. Hey, let's get away from the entrance. G good idea. We walked further into the park and the noise began to die down. Obviously, it was still loud, but everything had co definitely calmed down significantly. <laughs> Yuri's grip loosened. Seems she's still not a big fan of crowds. I squeezed her hand and gave her a kiss. What would you like to do first? Would you mind if we played some of the games? Like the ones with the fish or the ones with the rings and bottles. My father used to always do those with me, and they were a lot of fun. Uh, I brought cash with me, right? Of course, because the last time, Yuri paid, and now of course, since it's her birthday, you gotta pay for her this time, so don't mess this up. Plus, I hate the rides. 
take. We won't do any rides then. I said, hiding my disappointment. Uh, I mean, it makes sense because uh, she might have like ride fatigue or anything like that. But sure, we can do some games. I discreetly checked my wallet. We're good. Any catch your eye? That one over there looks interesting. She pointed to a nearby booth. Looked to be the one where I had to shoot water guns at a target or something like that. And speaking of rides though, it's either, well, either fatigue or fear or anything like that. I completely understand that. Alright, well, let's do that one. We walked over and sat down at the booth. Three bucks. Betcha can fill up that water balloon to the top before the run, before time runs out. The man at the booth pointed at the deflated water balloon above a target. If you can, you can win the prize. How about it? This was a scam of some kind, I just knew it. But who cares? Sounds good. I said and handed him a 10. Let's roll. Great. He handed me four bucks back and pressed a button. Shortly after, a buzzer went off. Start shooting. I held down the trigger and watched as my stream of water hit the bullseye, which caused the balloon to start filling. Hey, this isn't too bad. I looked over at Yuri's balloon. Hers was, um, only around twice as big as mine. <laughs> That's what she said. But suddenly, her balloon popped. Both streams of water stopped and I was left confused. We have a winner! Oh! What would you like, girlie? You can pick anything from the second shelf and down. Oh, I'm not sure. How about... How about that cute monkey? Monkey? Or thing. A man pulled a monkey off the shelf and then handed it to Yuri. She gave it a hug and turned to me. It reminds me of you. What? What? You did not. Yuri, you did not. You did not just. I, I have nothing to say of this, really. I just... Wow. Wow, Yuri. Why? The booth operator chuckled and gave me a pat on the shoulder. Your girlfriend is alright, son. Uh... Thanks? Don't mention it. Anyway, I'm gonna ask you to guys... I'm gonna ask you guys to please move unless if you like to play again. The greed, the greed in his eyes made me want to decline, but he turned back to Yuri. Very good, thanks. Then get out of here, you crazy kids. He shooed us off and we ran away, cackling. Really? He reminds me of a monkey? Come on, no! Unless if we return to monkey, then that's fine, but still, in, in, in another context, no. Just... Just, just, no. <laughs> no. We slowed to a stop back near the entrance. It was a less crowded area than before, but this was the big hub area. Seemed like the right move to make this our home base. What next? I asked and Yuri pointed to another game. We then walked over hand in hand. Me with my hand on a beautiful wo woman and her with both hands on two separate monkeys. I chuckled at my own joke. <laughs> the next game was basketball. Ooh, ah, this looks nice. I get the ball and a uh, hoop, win a prize. Easy enough, but I'm surprised Yuri wanted to do it. She did strike me as the type to play any kind of sport. But as soon as she scored a hoop, I felt my jaw drop. Holy crap! Those ones are rigged! They inflate the ball too much and they curve the rim. How the heck did you do that? I turned to her, my mind still blown. Ah, uh, it's just about your power and arc. It's really not that impressive. Do it again? Huh? Please, do it again. 
I handed the carny another two dollars. She handed Yuri the ball and she shrugged. Wait, if it really makes you that impressed. Two in a row. She scored another one. One more shot and you can pick the biggest prize. I handed another two bucks and looked to Yuri expectantly. All right. And we have another winner. Three in a row. Sheesh, Yuri. That's a slam dunk. Congratulations, purple hair girl. Yay. Yuri, you did it. What are you going to get? She put her finger to her chin. Mm. How about you get me that big monkey? Rally! Oh, god dang it. <laughs> Got it. The woman grabbed down the large monkey with a big pinch claw stick thing. Would you mind holding on, uh, holding on to it for us, actually? I don't really want to walk around holding that thing all day. Sure can. Just make sure you don't forget it. Sounds good. We all nodded in unison. Shortly after, me and Yuri walked off to do something else. Monkey, why? We played a few more games, but as nighttime neared, me and Yuri felt hungry. After hearing her stomach rumble for a second time, I turned to face her. Hungry? She nodded, slightly embarrassed. Even at some goofy fun place like this, she still has to be ladylike. But I guess that's just one more thing to love about her. I smiled. Well, where do you want to go? It's all unhealthy, so just pick your poison. I chuckled. Hmm. She looked around for a second until her eyes settled on something. She then pointed to a booth. That looks pretty good. Looking over, I inspected it. It seemed to sell a variety of different foods. Most notably, though, were pastrami sandwiches. Hmm. Good choice. I'm glad you think so. Like a cartoon character smelling a pie, I focused all of my nasal muscles on smelling the, the pastrami. Pastry me, pastry me. I don't know how you uh, pronounce that, but it's whatever. Even though we were uh, we were a ways away, I could still smell every bit of it. The intoxicating scent of meat was driving me crazy. I've got to eat that sandwich. We walked over and stood in line. It wasn't too bad lengthwise, surprisingly. When it was our turn, we ordered our food. I, of course, got the pastry me sandwich. Yuri ordered a cheeseburger with pastrami. Hey, that was probably the better choice. Oh well. I can always just steal a bite of it. I smiled deviously. We walked over to a nearby bench and sat down. As we ate, the sun slowly set. The carnival was now fully in the vibe zone. More like... The Carnival Night Zone. <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Michael Jackson's um, composition for the Sonic 3 Origins. You will be missed. <sighs> Night Carnivals are way better than Day Carnivals. Hey, it's true. <laughs> um, as we ate, I noticed how bright the lights were on those cyclone rides. You know, the ones where it spins around in a circle and the floor drops out, but you stay in a ride? I love those things. Oh, it's one of those uh, kinds of rides. Never tried them. That's quite thrilling, honestly. Even though they made me sick. I sighed. Too bad Yuri doesn't like rides. Right. I didn't blame her and I wasn't upset with her. Not at all. But I was disappointed. You wish to ride that ride, don't you? I turned to Yuri. I mean, I... I know you don't want to, so... Yes or no? Oh. Oh, now she angry. Now she angry. Yes. Then... Well then, go ahead. She smiled. Are you sure? She nodded and gave me a kiss. I want you to have fun too. I can wait here. Uh, good enough for me. 
I gave her a kiss myself and ran off to enjoy myself. Yuri watched as I ran off to get in line. Finishing up her food, she stood up to throw away the garbage. She grabbed a piece of paper she had sat on and held it in two fingers. You should have gotten on a ride with him. At one point, you should face your fears. Upon thinking this, she smiled confidently. She had the idea in her head. She threw the trash into the garbage can. As soon as he came back from that ride, they would go on a ride together. Not that one though. Or that one. That one looks alright. Oh, but what if there are restrictions? Didn't that slip of paper have instructions on it? She should probably read those all over again. She reached into her purse and began to dig around. Uh-uh. Where is it? She put it in there, didn't she? Is it under the receipts? No. Hmm. Oh, did she? She might have thrown it away. She turned around and walked back to the trash can. She picked inside but didn't see any pieces of paper. She tried the next one. She tried the one next to it, still nothing. Maybe this just isn't the right trash can? She walked further away from that bench and searched for another trash can. Um, okay. In quest of searching for the missing paper slip with the, um, with the perks and stuff. She, but either she kept missing them or that was the last trash can in a 50 mile radius. Because after a few minutes, she had gotten lost. She tried to find her way back, but none of the landmarks she had unconsciously remembered seemed to be taking her anywhere. She just kept walking in circles. She was losing her mind. Where on earth, where on earth am I? Someone bumped into her. Ah, uh, it's way more crowded over here. Another shoulder check. A baby started to cry. Two kids ran next to her, laughing. What were they laughing at? Were they laughing at her? Another shoulder check. Is something ringing? The crowd feels heavier. The air feels hot. I can't breathe. She can't breathe. Another shoulder check as the child is still crying. Uh. Suddenly hit by a wave of nausea, she ran into a nearby portable toilet. Her head was pounding. It smelled terrible. Locking the door behind her, she fell to her knees and started, started to puke into the blue water. There goes the free meal. She breathed heavily and began to dry heave. Her body continued to expel its bile despite there not being any bile left to expel. She coughed thrice and then fell on her bottom, feeling the nausea gradually fade. But her heart was still in overdrive and her head still felt like a jackhammer was ramming into it. She needed to calm down. Uh. Wait, not like that. She shakily exhaled. Never again like that. Just, just, in three, out, four. She violently coughed and felt acid in the back of her throat. She felt her eyes gloss over. No, don't cry. Dang it. She wiped her eyes. Her hands began to shake. She couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe. She pulled out her phone. What did he say? If you ever get close, tell me. If I'm not nearby, call me. Text me. Anything. Heck, email me if you have to. I just... I want to be there for you. I don't want you to suffer alone anymore. No more suffering alone. She pulled out her phone and tried her best to use it. Even if her hands were shaking like a blender full of rocks. She, ca she tapped my contact and put the phone to her ear. I stepped off the ride feeling intense nausea. I felt like I was going to puke my guts off, but it was so worth it. That's that's definitely the thrill and chill, the thrills and stuff with the ride. Of, those things are exhilarating. Although any amount of exhilaration is immediately dashed when you eat before getting on. I coughed, chuckled, and walked past the guy 
puking into a trash can. Poor guy. Suddenly, my phone began to ring. Hmm? Who in the heck? I pulled out my phone and looked at the caller ID. Oh, it's Yuri. I accepted the phone. I accepted the call and put the phone to my ear. Hello? Finn, I need... Please. Wait, what? Yuri, what's wrong? I got lost and I just... I'm in a portable toilet and I... Her voice cracked. I just cannot breathe and I... It's... I just feel close to just... And I... The line caught off. Yuri? Yuri, hey! Did she hang up? I'll look at my phone screen. It was off. Raising an eyebrow, I pressed the power button. Uh... The no battery symbol felt like a punch in the gut. Well shit.